Hi everybody, this is Hana with Team Elite where we inspire you to dream big and go bold. We are here at, with our Think and Grow Witch series. We are doing our live audiobook and right now we are on chapter four, Auto Suggestion Part Two. So we're gonna get straight into it guys. Once again, I'm gonna be reading straight from the book. We are with Vahid, he's gonna be doing commentary, all the things that we need to elaborate it on. He's gonna be giving you guys the details. So guys, we are on chapter 86 if you're following along with us. Or page. Page page 86 if you're following along with us. This is a black and gold version. And the page dif may be different from you. Yeah. yeah, depending on which version yeah. of the book you have might be different. So let's get into this. Summary of instructions. The fact that you are reading this book is an indication that you earnestly seek knowledge. It is also an indication that you are a student of this subject. If you are only a student, there is a chance that you may learn much that you did not know, but you will learn only by assuming an attitude of humility. If you choose to follow some of the instructions but neglect or refuse to follow others, you will fail. To get satisfactory results, you must follow all instructions in a spirit of faith. The instructions given in connection with the six steps in the second chapter will now be summarized and blended with the principles covered by this chapter as follows. All right, guys, this is where you should get a pen out if you're taking notes, Ernie. All right. First, go into some quiet spot, preferably in bed at night, where you will not be disturbed or interrupted. Close your eyes and repeat out loud so you may hear your own words, the written statement of the amount of money you intend to accumulate, the time limit for its accumulation, and a description of the service or merchandise you intend to give in return for the money. So this is the number one of the instruction that we, that we read based on the chapter on the burning desire yes. and the desire. So we read that. So what he's saying is say go to the bedroom assuming that this is like the afternoon or night time. Now, for me, what has worked is not for me to lay down in bed. Because when I lay down in bed, I work really hard every day. Yeah. So when I'm in bed, I probably have to read for about maybe 10, 20 seconds and I'm probably passing out, right? So I would do this in a quiet place, preferably if you have a desk or table or even a, a, a dinner table. Mm -hmm. You know, before you go, you turn off the lights or do whatever you want to do, or you have a little light on. Uh, so that, it's a quiet place. Uh, there's no noise, none of that stuff, but this is right before you go to sleep. So I would say about 10 minutes, 15 minutes before, you know, instead of making your way to your bedroom, you make your way to, to your desk and table, just sit there and start reading it. So yes. what you're gonna read is you're gonna repeat that to yourself and you're gonna find out the goals and when the deadline is. So you're gonna repeat that to yourself. Pretty much this is your affirmation. As you carry out these instructions, see yourself already in possession of the money. For example, suppose that you intend to accumulate $50,000 by the 1st of January, five years hence that you intend to give personal services in return for the money in the capacity of a salesman. Your written statement of your purpose should be similar to the following. By the first day of January 19th, I will have in my possession $50,000, which will come to me in various amounts from time to time during the interim. So, because you don't know, you're rendering services sometimes, especially if you're a business owner or entrepreneur, you know, sometimes you get big sales, sometimes the economy is really better than other times, some months are seasonal months, if you know, if it's a, uh, you, you're providing some type of a service which is seasonal so a few months you might be making more money that's why i say in various time in various increment it may not come at one time or it may not be zero at all the time so mm -hmm. it, it it varies it goes up and down especially if you're an entrepreneur mm -hmm. so you actually are writing this down yeah you're reading this that i'm rendering these services as a person i, I am acting in the capacity of a salesperson and this money my commissions are going to come to me in various amounts which in total is going to include the 50000 that you want before January. Yeah, correct. In return for this money, I will give the most efficient service of which I am capable, rendering the fullest possible quantity and the best possible quality of service in the capacity of a salesman of, and then describe the service or merchandise you intend to sell. I believe that I will have this money in my possession. My faith is so strong that I can now see this money before my eyes. I can touch it with my hands. It is now awaiting transfer to me at the time and in the proportion that I will deliver the service I intend to render in return for it. So, now the, 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 the big word that we're using over there is believe. So, I believe and you know, the next level is that you know that's coming to you and you deserve that money, right? And then you have faith backing it up. Mm -hmm. So, burning desire, auto-suggestion, repeating it to yourself, backed up with belief and faith. Right there, that's like the whole formula. 
I am awaiting a plan by which to accumulate this money and I will follow that plan when it is received. Second, repeat this program night and morning until you can see in your imagination the money you intend to accumulate. Third, so after maybe a couple of weeks, you have memorized this probably, mm -hmm. or it's easier for, it's coming out of your mouth more naturally. Right? Maybe the first couple of times I gotta study it, I gotta read it, I'm studying because this vocabulary is not really, you know, it's not, it's not, I'm not used to speaking yeah. like this, right? But after a while, it's gonna become natural yeah. to you, it's gonna happen. So, naturally, you're speaking about it. So, now you're doing once in the morning, once at night time. Preferably, a couple of more times during the day if need to be. Third, place a written copy of your statement where you can see it night and morning and read. It just before retiring and upon arising until it has been memorized. So you're going to have it somewhere where you can have access to it. You're conscious about where it is. Remember, as you carry out these instructions that you are applying the principle of auto-suggestion for the purpose of giving orders to your subconscious mind. Remember also that your subconscious mind will act only upon instructions which are emotionalized and handed over it with feeling. Exactly. So you gotta, you got to imagine it, emotionally get involved with it. Faith is the strongest and most productive of the emotions. Follow the instructions given in the chapter on faith. Right. These instructions may at first seem abstract. Do not let it disturb you. Follow the instructions no matter how abstract or impractical they may at first appear to be. The time will soon come if you do as you have been instructed in spirit as well as in act when a whole new universe of power will unfold to you. It's very, very powerful. You don't need to know how it works. You just need to know that it does work, so do the work. Hmm. Many philosophers, actually, skepticism in connection with all new ideas is characteristic of Always all human like beings. That. Being skeptical, it's constant. It, it happens all the time. I see so many people that go through life, they're just skeptical about everything. This is the one thing you shouldn't be skeptical about because it does work. Why does it work? Is because it's proven numerous times, millions of times, by so many different individuals that have gone through this and utilized this to make a lot of money. And that's the difference, having the student mentality and being open-minded, yes. which talked about it, we talked about it in, in chapter of desire, of you keeping an open mind when we, when we talk about new concepts. Obviously, you don't know these materials, you haven't utilized it because they don't teach this stuff in school. No. So if it's new to you, don't panic, it's fantastic. Everything brand new was new to you, to you, mm -hmm. to you at one point. Mm -hmm. Skepticism is the connection with all new ideas, is characteristic of all human beings. But if you follow the instructions outlined, your skepticism will soon be replaced by belief, and this in return will soon become crystallized into absolute faith. Then you will have arrived at the point where you may truly say, I am the master of my fate, and I am the captain of my soul. Mm. Many philosophers have made the statement that man is the master of his own earthly destiny, but most of them have failed to say why he is the master. The reason that man may be the master of his own earthly status, and especially his financial status, is thoroughly explained in this chapter. Man may become the master of himself and of his environment because he has the power to influence his own subconscious mind and through it gain the cooperation of infinite intelligence. Mm -hmm. You are now reading the chapter which represents the keystone to the arch of this philosophy. The instructions contained in this chapter must be understood and applied with persistence if you are to succeed in transmuting desire into money. The actual performance of transmuting desire into money involves the use of auto-suggestion as an agency by which one may reach and influence the subconscious mind. The other principles are simply tools which, which to apply auto-suggestion. Keep this thought in mind and you will at all times be conscious of the important part of the principle of auto-suggestion is to play in your efforts to accumulate money through the pr uh, methods described in this book. Carry out these instructions as though you were a small child, injected into your efforts something of the faith of a child. The author has been most careful to see that no impractical instructions... You know why he's talking about being doing it as a child? Because when we're, when we're kids, when we're younger, Anything is possible. You see these kids, they have no idea of how much UCLA, USC cost, what does it take to get on your LSAT, what do you have to do for SAT scores, you know, what's a magnet program, what do you got to do, all these different schooling, mm -hmm. GPAs, all that stuff. But a little kid, you ask them what you want to do, oh, I want to become a doctor. Like, there's no limitations for them. Why? Because they don't know, they, they don't have as much as viruses yeah. as you and I have, right? That's what he's telling in the book. 
Act as if you're a kid. Believe in it that you're going to be able to go through it. And go through it. Don't give yourself doubt. Yeah. When you start thinking about it, that means you're putting st- you start putting doubts into it. Mm-hmm. So That's why he's talking about that. Well, that's my understanding of it. You are now reading the chapter which represents the keystone to the arts of the philosophy. The instructions contained in this chapter must be understood and applied with persistence if you are to succeed in transmuting desire into money. Mm-hmm. The actual performance of transmuting desire into money involves the use of auto-suggestion as an agency by which one may reach and influence the subconscious mind. The other principles are simply tools with which to apply auto-suggestion. Keep this thought in mind and you will at all times be conscious of the important part of the principle of auto-suggestion is to play in your efforts to accumulate money through the methods described in this book. Carry out these instructions as though they were a small child, injected into your efforts something of the faith of a child. The author has been most careful to see that no impractical instructions were included because of his sincere desire to be helpful. After you have read the entire book, come back to this chapter and follow in spirit and in action this instruction. Read the entire chapter aloud once every night until you become thoroughly convinced that the principle of auto-suggestion is sound, that it will accomplish... So this, is, this, is, this is actual work. Oh, yeah. This is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is not just come, I read the book, put some goals down, go do some stuff. No. Every sing- now, you're going to get better at it every single time that you do it. So different rounds every time you do it, it gets better, just like repetition of anything. Mm-hmm. Repetition of the right materials will make perfect. Repetition of the wrong things is not going to make perfect. Yes. So you got to repeat this. And it's talking about reading the whole chapter. It's about nine, ten pages. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you got to read that every night. So now we're thinking, now we are talking about you reading your affirmation. Probably takes about five minutes to read yeah. that. You got to read this chapter and it will probably take you about 10, 15 minutes. So this is work. Mm-hmm. So when you wake up in the morning, you got to do work. You got to work on yourself. That's why it's called self improvement, self development. Mm-hmm. You got to develop yourself. You need to retrain yourself. Right? It's just like sometimes people go through you know, some type of a, a health condition where they have to retrain their body again, where they got to be able to learn how to walk, lear- learn how to ride a bike again. That's just, you got to re-teach your body parts of to do the right things. This, we're talking about your, your, conscious, your conscious and subconscious mind where you got to use the auto-suggestion to be able to control that. And then you master your financial freedom. Hmm. You are in control of it now. Auto suggestion is sound, that it will accomplish for you all that has been claimed for it. As you read, underscore with a pencil every sentence which impresses you favorably. Follow the foregoing instruction to the letter, and it will open the way for a complete understanding and mastery of the principles of success. Awesome. I love this chapter. It's very short, sweet to the point, mm-hmm. but it's like heavy. It's got a lot of material, so uh, I think if, if you're watching this, maybe you want to go back and forth. If you got the audio book, definitely you want to re- you know, re-listen to this chapter a couple of more times. And the best way I suggest is for you to get the physical book. Doesn't matter which, uh, which version of the book you yeah. get. Just Most of it is the same thing with the minor changes here and there in the vocabulary. But definitely you want to reread this. Listen, Napoleon Hill dedicated you know, 25 years, 30 years of his life to this material. Yeah. So you and I are reading nine pages. But this is a lot of time that took in, in you know for him to be able to write it this short, sweet, to the point. So mm-hmm. I'm excited to do more chapters on it. Yeah, and I mean, in just this chapter, we're telling you guys that you have to read the whole chapter. It gives you the overview of how to write the goals down, how to do it morning and night. So just in those 10 pages, you're getting so much value Definitely. from 10 pages. So yeah, guys, the next chapter is going to be specialized knowledge. That's chapter 5. We're going to be going through that. So we're, we're getting in there, guys. Every single chapter we're going through. So if there's anything, any of the material that we are providing that you guys have questions on, please go ahead and comment below. We're definitely going to help you out with that. You know, this is, this is a book that's meant to be read multiple, multiple times. times. So that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this is to share how amazing the, the values and principles are in this book and basically how to utilize them. Exactly. And we got the new Instagram accounts, Napoleon.Hill and Team Elite. Definitely let us know. Uh, we'll, we'll do our best to put as much as we can on the description at the bottom where you can write, you know, print it maybe for yourself so you can follow along all the 10 steps. But we're, we're putting together a lot of good work work that we're going to be able to have mm-hmm. out for everybody later on. So it's a work in progress, but uh, we also want to enroll you into it. If, if you have any suggestions, let us know. Beautiful, guys. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. All right, take care.